you know, I want to like bond more with you guys. I want to bond more with you. Okay. So if there's anything that you want to know about me, anything that you need to know, comment under this video. Hey guys, it's your girl Hawaiita and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while y'all and I'm so sorry. Got my soup and my fufu. I actually got this from a uh, Suya joint. Yo, the food is really good, man. I'll give it to her guys today. I really wanted to do a video on my growth in life where I have came. And the last situation that I remember that happened. In this situation, I ended up losing a friend. I almost got yeah but the good thing about it is it really made me take a step back like i don't know if that was like a warning from god but it really made me take a step back in life and just think like certain things is not is really not worth it i'm a very blunt person and i'm not as confrontational as i used to be but i was really confrontational when i say confrontation i don't mean what you're looking at i mean like no one i'm not scared of nobody like you got something to say we're gonna say we're gonna talk about it you know that was like my my attitude but sometimes it's like you really have to pick your battles because some situation is just gonna end the worst either way you go and it takes two to tangle a while ago i want to say a few years ago and i will be using some fake names in this video right a few years ago me and my friends we went to la to take a trip prior to going to the trip, it was me my best friend desiree my ex-friend um what i'm gonna say her name is uh kate and her best friend Aaliyah. so kate and Aaliyah. i hope i remember those names because these are fake names okay but kate and Aaliyah are best friends and me and desiree are best friends for we are all mutual friends kate had a birthday uh dinner or whatever her best friend didn't show up you know they had a little falling out so she confided in me and my best friend desiree kate you know Kate was like a family member to me. I still love her to this day. She was like a sister. Like, I would say, like, she knew my family. I knew hers. Whatever. You know, so me and Desiree advised her, like, listen, we're going to L.A. We're all going to be in L.A. And actually, that was when I met Maxie J. Yes. That's my boo. I'm, and I got a twerk from her. Like, yeah. Yeah. I got a dance from Maxie. I hope I can find a clip so I can show you guys. But, um... She's she's an amazing person. Let me just say that. Shout out, Maxie. Even though you don't need it, but I really love you. And in my heart, I really think we're friends. Weird. Weird. But yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I'm so glad I'm remembering these names because it kind of rhymes with her name. Was that a hit? So we're like, Kate, no, you know, you should talk to Aaliyah because, you know, if we're all going on this trip, we're going to be hanging out. You don't want no awkwardness. So Kate then came back and let us know that she did try to talk to Aaliyah. But Aaliyah, it ended up the Aaliyah called her a beaver. Kay was confiding in us, let us know, like, she's not going to talk to Aaliyah anymore. If she don't apologize, like, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, we was all on some women empowerment issue. Like, you guys need to figure it out so we can have fun. The whole day prior to us taking a flight, I spent the day with Kate. You know, Kate is a hairstylist. She does hair. At the time, I had my really low cut, like a low, low, low cut on the sides. And I just had little hair on the top. Kate was like... Hawaii said, let me make you a wig. And while we're in L.A., you can promote. The day before we went to the airport for L.A., me and Kate, like, hung out the whole day. I had a, my cousin was uh, house-sitting in another city. So I was going to go help her with the kids because she said it was giving her a hard time. And I'm a no-nonsense type of chick. So <clears throat> I took some of my bags and stuff to Kate's house. And when we came back from L.A., I was going to go straight to the other city. So remember that part, right? So when we got to the airport, whatever, Kay and um, Aaliyah was ignoring each other. Long story short, we got to the room. We we went to the mall or whatever. And then Kay and Aaliyah was just, you know, besties, like hanging out, da da da. And me and Desiree confused because, listen, she made it very clear, like, she was going off. Maybe she was saying it because she was angry that she was not going to deal with this person and didn't apologize, right? So we're just confused, but hey, y'all getting along. That was great. So we got back to the room and we was getting ready to go out on the town, like to the club club. Kate sitting on the bed looking all sad. I was like, Kate, are you okay? She was like, I'm good. Like, you know, attitude. I was like, well, you sure you're okay? I was like, did you guys talk? Did she, like, she was like, she didn't answer. I was like, did she apologize? That word, apology triggered something. This chick just, this is hard to believe and I'm so glad everyone was there I, I said i'm fine you don't have to worry about what's 
one. I was like, first of all, are you need to calm down. This person I have been cool with on and off for a long time. And every time we have a disagreement, this statement come out their mouth. Hawaii to always think she's better than somebody. Da -da 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 -da. Like just going off. So it got to a certain point in the thing, like, you're not gonna be yelling at me like that. I'm like, you need to calm down. Like I asked you a simple question, like, what's the problem? So we got in an argument. She's like, You think you're tough? I was like, when did I say like I don't like what are you talking about? You think you're so tough, blah blah blah. Like, we'll see how tough you are when we got back to, when we get back home. So I'm really, really like confused by the same time like you throw in stuff i said whoa what is that supposed to mean because like i said i have my bags at her house so she's calling her boyfriend the phone whatever saying stuff she brought up my husband my husband has been like a brother to her like we've all known each other these all these years so it's like she was just on some disrespectful shit when i realized that this was getting way out of hand she was like take my wig off i said excuse me then i was gonna do it then something was like no i said you make me take it off she stood up on the bed, blah, 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 yelling, take my shit off. I said, wow. And I'm thinking in the back of my head, like, wow, this is really getting real. Like, I thought she was my friend. So, I said, you know what? Why don't you step around this motherfucker and make me take it off? So, I got really aggressive back. She's on the bed standing. We're going at each other, yelling, whatever, blah, blah, blah. At this point, I'm just defending myself. And this started happening. Like, she got close. I said, okay, you just touch my forehead i didn't touch your forehead da, 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 because she has long hands so she's like talking like this and this happened a while ago and talking like this and i'm like yo you just touched my forehead again i didn't touch your touch and then that's was like if she said you touch your forehead you touch her forehead so she and desert started going at it so i got in the middle i was like whoa whoa because she was getting closer to desert too now mind you her friend was there just trying to defuse the whole situation which is Aaliyah. And Des was like, I was like, whoa, whoa, y'all need a chair. Des was started arguing. It was like closer. So I got in the middle. And then she switched it to me. Y'all, da, 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 da. I'm just like, whoa. Like, this is just crazy. At this point, like, I'm getting her back too. So what caused that was the third time she went like this on my head. When she went like this, I went like this, put her in the air headlock, and I got to work. And I literally, like, actually... I literally mean like I wouldn't even say I touched her that many times, but I, I blacked out. I did. And when I came back to reality, I heard everybody screaming. And I looked on the floor where she's dripping of blood everywhere. She had so what really happened was when I had her in the headlock and she was trying to move herself because I was just like, I told you not to fuck with me. I told you not to fuck with me. Like I told you stop messing with me. <laughs> like <laughs> I was just so mad. Like, this is supposed to be my friend. Like, I don't play like that. So what happened was when she was in the headline, she was moving around because we know this because there was a blood on the thing. You know how you have those shelves in the hotel like you can put towels or clothes or whatever? Her head hit the the side of the shelf and it put a split right. Stopped immediately. I put my hands up. She was still trying to punch me when she could finally be free. <laughs> She was still trying to hit me or whatever. I just put my hands up because at this point, it's like I woke up from the mode I was in. Like, I blacked out. And I stopped. And she was still trying to find me. They separated us. She holding her head. Like, it was a it was a little spot, but it bled a lot. She's on the phone with her old ass boyfriend who looked like somebody that. They're not together no more. I saw that coming. Telling, encouraging her to call the cops. I need to get arrested, blah, blah, blah. So that day she went to the hospital and uh, I was at the point where like, yo, now that I realized I was like, yo, this went too far. Like I just really wanted to, although it took two to tangle, I just wanted to apologize because at this point I had a friend that was bleeding and it was not my intention. But when she came back to the room, she bought, bro, you paid $500 to take a flight to LA. You really going to leave and you only been here for like a day? So she left, went home, and I got all these threatening messages like, I'm gonna, you're gonna pay for everything you did. So now your boyfriend told you to call the cops and you tell me I'm gonna pay for it because I was assuming, like, you can't do much in LA because we're not from there and we're both gonna be stuck. So I'm gonna go back. Like, she even texted my husband telling him that I'm gonna pay for this, whatever. So also call, text my phone, tell him my come, yes, your stuff is outside. This girl threw my put. Well, she said she was going to throw it, but she was smart. She put my stuff just in front of her door, whatever, and my cousin went and got it. 
But since that day, I have not talked or spoken to her. I understand she was angry, but literally posted about me in the situation on Facebook for probably like a month or two straight. Okay? And that whole situation was really, really horrible. Like, really horrible. And what I sincerely learned, like me now today, I don't get as mad as I used to. I don't know if it's just growth, but I remember that was the last situation I was in that was so ridiculously crazy that I could have went to jail. I could have been locked up. And I also could have just walked away. I really wanted to make this video like just to show somebody out there or shine light on a situation or maybe someone can learn from this. Like I lost an entire friend from it. Um, yes, I, I gained growth from that and now like I'm better with like confrontation and that's one thing I learned about myself. I like it about myself and I feel like that was a situation God used to show me a sign. And honestly, there's a few situations that has happened with this person that it just really didn't validate if there was like a good friend. So losing them as a friend really wasn't as devastating as I would say. But what I would say is losing that relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like being cordial or, you know, being in your life or whatever. If this person is watching or if you know who it is, I do sincerely apologize for the fact that you have to live the rest of your life with a mark on your face. It was never my intention. It took two. But one thing I will say, I didn't like the fact how the situation was played afterwards. Like this person played victim to the highest degree like you made it seem like the way you explain it to people on social media and i'm sure behind closed doors you made it seem like somebody just jumped on you like a freaking wild animal and started beating the shit out of you when that was not how it happened at all you like tried to tarnish my character to the people that you know you talked about me negatively you you said a lot of stuff that you know weren't true and you know you had more than a hundred percent participation in everything that happened and I just thank God that it didn't go the route that it that you was intending it to go as far as me going to jail or getting locked up. And I thank God for that. And so anybody out there listening, just walk away. These days, I'm on some stuff like I'm just happy, happy husband, family, and like just succeeding in life and always going to another level. And we've been doing just fine with that. Like getting rid of all the toxic energy, like just being positive. Even the people that I call friends right now is all positivity, even when we do go through bad things. So just remember when you, I know we all try to prove like, I ain't no punk, you nobody gonna punk me. I'm gonna whoop her ass, da, da, da. But it's like, do it really matter? Because at the end of the day, the people that's hyping you up to fight somebody or to do that, where they gonna be at when you're locked up? You're not going to be able to even call any of them. Like, just think about it that way. So I look at it that way. Like, what do you want to do in life? What is your dreams? What is your aspiration? Why don't you put that energy in it? Because I sincerely believe if you have something that you really love and really want to do, and you are taking your time doing that thing, and you step out there tomorrow and somebody try you on some negative stuff, you will just be like, I got better things to do. But if you're not doing nothing with your time and all you want to do is just, you know, drama, you're going to always be in some drama. You're going to always be trying to prove yourself right, trying to prove that you can beat this person up. And that is just not what it's about. Like, we are past the age where fighting is just, I mean, you get you go to jail, you can die, you can get hurt. It's like, or the other person, it's like, it's never a good result. So, to all my beautiful queens out there, I just want to say, man, like, stay positive. Be the one to bring the positive energy. One thing I would say about myself now, Hawaii to today, anything that bring me drama, anything that bring me negativity, I cut it off. You can ask anybody that know, 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 know me. Okay, I preach that 100%. But guys, that is it for today. Really just wanted to share something, you know, positive with you guys. Please leave your comments below. Make sure you hit that like and that subscribe button. And hit that bell ring and ding it, okay? Slay that like button. Slay the subscribe button. If there's anything you want to know, comment under this video. And um, the next video could be get to know me better. And I hope you guys continue to have a great week. And it's your girl, Hawaii Tim. And I'm out.